Hey everyone, today I'm going to explain how to implement hreflang tags and when you should use them. What are hreflang tags used for? hreflang tags are useful when you have different versions of your website targeted either for different languages or different countries. The simplest use case is when you have translated version of your website for different countries. However, the world is much more complex than that. The same language can be used in more than one country and hence your situation might look more like this. As if that was not bad enough, there are other scenarios to worry about too. For example, this quickly gets very complex. As you can imagine, it is also very complex for Google too. Wouldn't it be cool if there was a tag that you could put on your pages to make sure Google uses your sites the way you want them to? Fear not, there is, and it's called the hreflang tag. Now, Let's discuss how to implement hreflang tags. Step 1. Start by identifying which versions of your site you want to map to which countries. Second, assemble that in a spreadsheet. Third, note that you can either specify a language and a country or a language only, but not a country only. Step 4. Use X default if you use IP redirects or if users hand select languages on your site. Step 5. Place the tags on your site using the format shown in the image below. The first three lines show combined language country tags, and the fourth one is an example of a language-only tag. And finally, place the complete set of tags for all of your sites on all the pages of all the sites. This is as important as it is the behavior that Google is looking for. In short, if page A has a tag pointing to page B, then page B must have a tag pointing back to page A. But wait, there's more. You should use hreflang tags on all the pages of your site that you want indexed, but shouldn't put them on other pages you don't want indexed. As a result, you don't need to put them on pages that implement rel equals canonical tags that point to other pages. In the above description, I described this based on the assumption that you would put the hreflang tags as markup in the head section of your website, but there are other options. One, you could put it in the head section of your page as a link attribute. That's what I described before. Or two, have your web server communicate these in the page's HTTP protocol header. Or option three, specify them in a sitemap that lists all variants as long as each listed site is verified in Google Search Console. Only specify hreflang by one of these three methods. Putting it in multiple places carries too much risk that you'll forget to update one of them, and that would not be good, as providing the search engines with conflicting instructions is always a bad idea. Also, be careful to specify the language in ISO 639-1 format and the region in ISO 3166-1 alpha 2 format, as these are what Google is using for that. For more information, please refer to Miley Oye's excellent video on the topic, which you can find using the link on your screen. Also, Aleda Solis has built a great tool for generating hreflang tags for you, which you can find using this link. Thank you, and have a great day.